Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffee and Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob. Joining me today is Zach Attack, and today we are talking about The Offspring's Pete Parada. Pete Parada is in the band The Offspring, and The Offspring has a plan to come back and to, you know, they got the tour going now that Bovid's kind of calming down a little bit. They want to get back on tour. Except for Pete Parada ain't going to get the vaccine, can't get the vaccine, and so they're kicking him out. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. So Pete Parada, he has Guillain-Barre, uh-huh. which is an autoimmune disease, meaning your body attacks your nerves. And that I think it's relatively common one. It's like one in 100,000 people, I think is what I saw. But still, in that... And he got it, I think, from the previous case of COVID he had. So getting the vaccine could be very dangerous for him. His doctor said not to get it. And yet, somehow, he's now a danger to be around. Even though the vaccine only makes your you not get it as bad, you still could get it. Mm-hmm. So I think it's pretty messed up to kick him out. I saw a headline that says, Why won't you get a jab? <laughs> like that song, <laughs> yeah. Why won't you get a job? I mean, people got to realize this man is sick already. You know, he said he had a, a mild case of COVID earlier last year. Mm-hmm. You know, thankfully he lived through that. But, you know, the offspring, a, 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 a local um, California punk rock band, you know, very mm-hmm. conscious, very smart guys. They were very iconic for a long time. Absolutely. I mean, we love them here in Orange County. And, you know, they're very forward, progressive, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah, very surprising. Liberal punk. Yeah. And, you know, they want everyone to be vaccinated for them to go on tour. Unfortunately, this guy has an autoimmune disease, can't really get the vaccine. So he's not one of these crazy people where he thinks, you know, Bill Gates, 5G, yeah. changing my DNA, all this stuff. I'm not saying that's wrong, right? Turning Whatever the frog you is gay. He's not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's just saying, hey, man, I'm sick. I can't really mess with this kind of stuff. Yeah. I can't do this right now. I have to leave. And I think he said, too, it's not that he wouldn't get it. It's he can't get it now. Mm-hmm. So... But if it's just for the tour, maybe it's not so bad, especially if he volunteer like, hey, I just don't want to cause stress in the band. But where if they kick him out of the band, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like almost all original members. That would be really shady. Yeah. And it's, it's, oh, sorry. Well, it's just there's some people who can't get it, who will never be able to get it. And people have to accept that. Like, that I, I didn't wear a mask once mm-hmm. to a taco truck uh-huh. when no one was in line. Someone drives down the street, screams at me, anti-vaxxing, Trump-supporting <laughs> piece of shit. And I went back to my car, grabbed the mask, put it on in shame, <laughs> even though there was no reason to. But where it's just... And I always wear a mask. I have hand sanitizer. But, like, we gotta, like, tone it down a little. Because already no one's wearing masks anymore. Yeah, seriously. Uh, you know, I, I feel that it's very fucked up if they kick him out of the band for something like this, you know? Of, of no... He's at fault... Uh, of no fault of his own. Yeah. And here we are trying to cancel this guy. And I feel like people that were coming at him online are just completely baseless. Let this guy live literally. You yeah. know what I mean? This is one of those life and death situations for him. And I appreciate him going the high road and kind of saying exactly what happened, you know, and taking his right, rightful stance on there. Yeah, he wasn't causing drama. He wasn't yeah. trying to hurt the band. And, yeah, the people attacking, it's where it's like they clearly don't understand why he ha- why he can't get it. And it's just that thing of, well, you should get it or you're a bad person. It's like, well, but that's not how it works, though. Like... So, hopefully he'll be alright, though. I mean, I uh, I saw a thing, too, where, like, Noodles criticized, and, like I told you earlier, if your name's Noodles, you, you do some introspection first. <laughs> like, work on yourself. Sorry. Listen here, Dexter. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think, you know, I hope that he's just off the tour, and I hope he's still a part of the band. I hope the guys don't kick him out for something so trivial like this. Yeah, and I hope he gets better, and, you know, if he can get the vaccine, and then he doesn't have to worry about it. At least we're not hearing a headline, you know, <laughs> guy in Offspring gets... You know, yeah. the vaccine and dies or something like that. Or, you know, or, get sick. Whatever it might be. Of no fault of his own or their own. Yeah, or a bunch of people got sick from the vaccine. Everything's working out so far good. Yeah, so we'll take it from there, man. I guess yeah. time, will, time will tell. Yeah. But uh, if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media. At Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled a K. And that's all for today. K-S-M-R. Coffin Radio.